Hunger Games Mockingjay. I think there is another note uh, on the blog, uh, a written one on this uh, very successful uh, blockbuster actually, uh, motion picture based on the book, which is also a bestseller. Do they have a million uh, ratings or so on, on, on Goodreads? Um, so, um, the, not just successful, but the definition, the paradigm of, of success, uh, I guess, uh, because it combined back box office, takings with the uh, reception from the public and, and critics. Again. It's not one of my favorite uh, motion pictures, but I can see it's... It's decent. <laughs> Just laughing. Who, who, who cares? I mean, you shouldn't, in fact, watch this. Well, that's the spoiler alert. Um, warning and um, disclaimer all into it now. Um, so, um, <clears throat> Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, outstanding, impressive, of course. And then the others. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, who played the lead role. Fabulous. Right. Woody Harrelson, Julian Moore, and, and there's more. So you have that. You have this dystopian future, you have action, you have uh, um, the unknown. It's going to win. Well, I think we may have a guess. Uh, and you can you can find things in the present. It's unbelievable what happens now in America. I keep saying with the Trump crowd, seventeen million voters. How can that be? Well, and then, as the economist has, uh, my guess it will be this will be a, a headline in the issue that comes, comes uh, online this afternoon. But we have a preview, if you will. And it's a long um, analysis uh, looking at whether America will have to fight on three fronts. So there's the war. It's not, he's, it, I mean, it's not only fighting in Ukraine, but it has to support that war, if it's possible, if they, the Republicans crazy leadership there, find a decent uh, uh, House Speaker. And they looked at, at another curtain, uh, at Jordan. It would start from me. So there's the Ukraine. <laughs> You know what, the people are. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Live. <laughs> Soon. Um, this is Israel, and then attacks from. It was the massacre of Hamas, and then Hezbollah, and then the Shia militias in Iraq, Syria, attacking American bases, Houthis from, from Yemen sending missiles towards Israel. Intercepted by the American Navy to aircraft carriers yeah, because of the struggle. And who knows, maybe China would, would like to take advantage and try and take Taiwan. So, a mess. Dystopian? Bleak future in, in Mockingjay? Well, not such a wonderful present. Well, it, it, still. Coming a little back to the movie, we're not there yet. I mean, we're not made to fight, and we're not yet dominated by these. Uh, by, by Donald Sutherland, I feel like he's the, the evil one. He's, he's the threat, he's the bad guy. Um, so, yes, there, there, there will be these things to look at I mean, what they present and what they. 
see as a potential future in the threats and the, the terror and uh, horrifying life and, and then what we could see happen or what we, we, we do see happening actually and, and they're fighting and people are dying in a sense of you know, Ukraine which is now taking second place in, in, in Israel in Gaza and, and the hostages and as I said attacks from all over the place actually. so We need a mocking gene, we need Jennifer Lawrence to come and save us, fight with someone.